Hey guys, it's Will from Tustin. I'm Norm from Tustin. Norm, I'm holding a motherboard. Ooh, that looks like a fancy motherboard. Why does it have all this plastic stuff on it? I think because it looks cool. Yeah, probably because it looks cool. And it does look cool. Uh, but we're not here just to talk about the motherboard hardware. We want to show you UEFI, Unified Extensible Firmware Interface. It's basically like a new version of BIOS. It is a it's new been, version of the BIOS. It's been out since Sandy Bridge is out. Some, a bunch of motherboards have it, but a lot of you may not have seen it. Well, and it's starting to go from like, it was on the high end last yes. generation, but it's kind of working its way down to the lower end yeah. boards if now. You, if you build a new PC, even the PC yeah. built for Jeff has UEFI, if you turn it on, you know, you get the BIOS and like, what is this? This is confusing. Yeah. This video is to make sure- We're gonna blow your minds. Stay tuned. So this is what an EMI BIOS. Yeah, it looks awfully familiar. American, American Megatrends, that looks yeah, very familiar. Yeah, it has the memory. Uh, what is what does this stand for? I'm gonna press F1 to enter setup now. What, EFI? EFI. EFI uh, stands yeah, for EMI Extensible uh, Firmware Interface. And UEFI is the uh, Unified Extensible Firmware Interface. And actually, this is what it looks like. Whoa, Whoa. that's not your Wait, typical BIOS. Wait, hold on, that's BIOS. a mouse? Wait, mouse I'm moving a mouse BIOS? in my BIOS. Crazy. Oh, wait, there is more. Um, so this is this is the easy menu. There's a couple yes. different menus here. Uh, this is this is the one that is kind of the basic stuff you need to get going when you very first turn on your computer. Our CPU is running crazy hot because I have the fan set to super low speed, just so we can see what it yeah, looks like. Yeah, we're running a bare bones computer right now. But yes. the point is, uh, this EFI BIOS is made by ASUS, and they basically had to redesign this from the ground up. Um, because it's, it's basically a new standard for a firmware interface uh, for, for communicating your, you know, to your CPU yeah. in a pre-boot, a pre-OS uh, pre, uh, environment. And this isn't anything, I mean, this is this has been around for a long time, but nobody's been using it, basically. Apple introduced UEFI with their with their Intel Macs. Yeah, uh, so but, EFI is a standard developed by Intel, and UEFI yes. is, a, is a additional standard from a uh, forum of, uh, of different companies. So it's more open. Yes, okay. um, and it doesn't work just on x86 architecture. Um, so this basically looks like you're, you know, you get all your settings from your typical BIOS, and I'm it's just, actually just an interface overlaying on top of. I can't believe I'm using your, the mouse. Your uh, standard BIOS, uh, but you can go into advanced settings, and uh, you can you can you know overclock and tweak. Um, advanced and, mode. And having a mouse, Whoa. I mean, it makes a world of difference. And you know, it's running at a much higher resolution than you would normally get with your BIOS. I think right now it's 10, 1024 I by. I think it, it seems to be 768. Fixed at 1024 by 768. Yeah. So I mean, all the normal options are in here. You know, you can do the the administrator password, the user password, all that kind of stuff. Seems like the normal keyboard shortcuts apply. I can go from screen to screen. I'm using my keyboard now instead of the mouse. Mm -hmm. um, it, th this is pretty neat, I guess. Yeah. Functionally, it is going to be almost exactly the same as a traditional BIOS. It really is the the interface and the way you interact with the BIOS, it's different. Uh, having that mouse there, uh, it just, you know, makes it feel more like a, uh, a desktop environment. Uh, so the other benefit, of, co of course, is that you can access devices that are a little more difficult than traditional BIOSes. There are BIOSes that you like, flash from a USB mm -hmm. key or something like that. Uh, but this one should just work with a normal NTFS formatted USB thumb drive. Oh, there you go. And there it is, yeah, so this is, you can see this is my, I don't have any BIOS on here because we're not flashing the BIOS on this, on this board right now. But it, all I'd have to do is copy the thumb drive. There's no like formatting in a special way or anything weird like that, which is super handy. Yeah, so for this motherboard, this is actually the only BIOS that you get. Like, I, I don't, I don't There's know. no backwards compatibility that right. I've seen, no. Um, and it pretty much is this is what you're gonna expect from computers moving forward. I think like MSI has a couple motherboards with EFI, uh, ASUS and their, you know, the high-end Sandy Bridge motherboards, even some of the mid-range ones have EFI. And um, it's, it's, I think it's, a, it's very neat. Finally, we're seeing uh, you know, upgrades to the BIOS, something that we haven't seen in Ever. decades. I, I mean, since I've been, I think I built my first computer in 1994, 1995, I haven't seen a BIOS update. Like it's, just, it's, I mean, there's different forms of BIOS, there's different menus and stuff like that. But this is all new, and the other benefit is that it it boots faster, theoretically. We haven't actually tested that uh, because I mean, it's it's not something you can do an apples to apples comparison on uh, because we, you know, there's not an identical board that doesn't have UEFI BIOS, um, but it seems to go straight through. If you turn off the the secondary devices, you know, the the extra uh, uh, 1394 controllers all the weird uh, Marvel controllers and all that stuff, it seems to boot a lot faster. Um, I was really pleasantly surprised. Cool, let's uh, head back to the wall. Okay, so that was interesting. Mouse and keyboard. In your BIOS. In the BIOS. 
but it seems like all the settings are more or less the same. Yeah. There's some technical stuff that changes with UEFI, though. Uh, there's limited backwards compatibility with old OSs, although ASUS says that this board will work with XP. We didn't actually test that because I don't care yes. about XP at this yeah. point. This implementation is just the interfaces change. Right. It's overlay on top of original uh, interface. One thing that is interesting is you can support much, much larger hard disks and the GPT yes. file system for the, for the hard drive instead of the traditional MBR. How big is the maximum volume you can plug on a GPT partition norm? 9.4 zettabytes. Oh, I can't comprehend that I don't, number. It's, a, it's, a, it's bigger than an exabyte. That's all I know. I think there's a lot of zeros there. Oh, my um, goodness. Other stuff that's interesting is uh, that there are drivers, actually, for UF, mm. EFI devices. And so your different devices can communicate with each, uh, each other, which is why we could you know, use a USB key in the BIOS, which has traditionally been kind of a difficult thing and to do. And you can still upgrade it. You can still flash it. And yeah, it works it. just like a normal BIOS yeah. in that regard. So um, that's a quick look at UEFI. Uh, it's coming to motherboards now. This is actually the ASUS P67 Saber Tooth. Yep. Uh, so this is a mid-range motherboard. It's on their mid-range high-end motherboards. Yeah. Um, other um, motherboard manufacturers. Next year, everything will have this. Yeah. So yeah. look forward to that. Your BIOS will be revolutionized. For tested, I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys next time. Bye.